welcome back to the channel so i know i have been missing for a few days um to be honest with you guys doing a video every day with a whole family and a lot going on behind the scenes um doing a video every day is just honestly a little much and um this weekend i i had to pause to take care of other things so those things are taken care of um but from here going forward what i think i'm going to do is make sure i get you guys out a video monday through friday and then the weekends um for me to take care of stuff because it's real life out here um but yeah so anyway my last video thank you guys so much for watching i got so many questions i got a lot of questions about stuff that i was using in the video which i was actually kind of surprised um so i thought what i would do today is show you guys those things where i got those things from and then i will have uh links in the description box to where you can grab some of these things so and then also not just some of the stuff that i use in the other video i'm also adding a couple of other goodies in here so welcome back to vlogmas and these are great products that you need to keep your house clean and fresh yeah so let's get right into it all right you guys so the first thing that y'all asked me about were these microfiber cloths that i'm using um i love to use these for my delicate surfaces and i'm doing air quotes delicate um i know my granite countertop isn't necessarily delicate um but it can scratch um if you just over time so I love to use these for that purposes because they will not scratch and they are very absorbent. And you see, I like to also go over my glass top stove and also our microwave with it as well. Um, so that is why I love these cloths. I also use them for my coffee table as well. Um, and this is a surface that can scratch. So yeah, that is the first thing, microfiber cloths. Now this one I got probably the most questions about. This is actually a colander from Ikea but I love to use it as a, a sink tray because I just like to be able to have my um, my hand sanitizer and my hand soap and then also I use it for my sink stoppers. It's just very convenient. Um, so I have one of these linked below. Actually the one that I found I think is even better than the one that I have because it's adjustable so you can adjust it to the size of your sink. So yeah, you'll find that one listed below as well. And then the next thing that I love to use um, are some dishwasher cleaning tablets. And this is what mine look like. I love these. They smell like lemon. So whenever you run your dishwasher, you can put your soap in the little soap dispenser. But just throw this in the bottom. Turn your dishwasher on and it will have your dishwasher smelling fresh for days. Um, everybody knows dishwashers can get kind of stinky. I hate that. So yeah, these are highly recommended. I absolutely love how they smell. And like I said, they keep your dishwasher fresh for days. All right, so now we're gonna move over to the stove. This is my stove top pretty much every day after we get done cleaning. So you can see a lot of spillage and different things. So I love to use the women uh, glass cooktop. If you guys saw my previous video, you know I also like to use their um, stainless steel cleaner as well. But this is a scrub. I just put this on and then I take a scotch pad and I do damp the pad just a little bit and then I just scrub in circular motions to get all of that spillage and food and everything off of there. So once I'm done scrubbing, I let this sit for about 15 minutes or so until it dries and then I wipe it up. Now guys, let me apologize. I don't know what happened to the clip of me wiping all of the white residue off, but I just take another one of those microfiber towels and damp it and then I just wipe that right up. And then I come in with a dry rag, completely dry. Um, and then use that dry rag to shine it all up. So the towel that you see, the white towel is completely dry. And then that's what I use to dry it. And then 
make that shine really or make this make the stove top really shine all right so the next product I got a lot of questions about was my vacuum cleaner so this was actually sold to us by a door-to-door -door salesman when we moved into the neighborhood these kids came around and they were selling this vacuum and we were sold on it um, because Antonio really has um, his asthma can get pretty bad so this one um, has a filter in it and it just collects all of the dust so besides vacuuming so you see I'm I'm vacuuming and then you can actually see all of the dirt going into um, the little water pan there but you can take this um, you can take the oh my gosh what's it called the part that I'm that I'm vacuuming with you can take that off and just let the vacuum run and it sucks up all of the uh, dust out of the air so you can just put it in a room and it will just purify the air in that room so that was the reason we were sold on it so this is called the Hyla vacuum um, I looked all over just to see if you can purchase it from a website and I uh, or a store and I did not find it but Hyla does have their own website and I will have that link below for you as well All right, and then lastly, we're gonna go into the bathroom into one of my most aggravating things to clean, which is my glass shower doors. Y'all can see soap scum just builds up and builds up and it gets really bad. Yeah, y'all see that, it's pretty embarrassing. Um, but I mean, it, it happens. So what I do to clean this, I learned this trick a little while ago and I'm not sure if I ever shared it on my channel uh, and I'm just showing you guys the top so you can see what it's supposed to look like as opposed to the bottom where all the soap scum builds up at. Um, so what you're going to need are three things. You are going to need some cleaning vinegar and this is a bottle of cleaning vinegar that I get. I get this, you can find it at Lowe's. Um, so yeah, the cleaning vinegar. And Dawn dish detergent everybody should have some Dawn laying around it really does cut grease and it really does work on multiple things and then these are steel wool pads um, these are perfect for scraping everything off of your shower door and then what I do is put my vinegar inside of a spray bottle and then I put my dish detergent into the bottle um, I, I'm sorry guys I don't measure it but you can do one-to-one -one, so you can do um, like a cup and a cup or a half a cup and a half a cup and just shake it all up and you see mine is labeled shower this is what I use all the time simply go in spray the shower down I mean down down like spray everything and then once you get done spraying just let it sit for about probably about 10 minutes or so I just let it sit on there and really eat up that soap scum but then guys really be careful because that vinegar is strong <laughs> very strong but after it sits um, then you're just gonna go in with that steel wool and you are just going to wipe it right down scrub it right off and that soap scum is going to come right off then once I'm done scrubbing I just take my shower head and I rinse the doors down and that is pretty much it you guys it comes really clean it looks brand new I love this I've tried many things um, but this is what works and here it is guys listen when I uh, when I rinse it off I don't wipe it with anything I did not use glass cleaner or anything like that I didn't dry it off I just let the water drip down and this is how it turns out so yeah this is the best thing that I found to clean my shower doors 
So I hope you guys found something helpful in this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And then remember to subscribe if you like the content on this channel and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.